in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 19th of july wednesday of the 15th week in ordinary time on july 19th we remember saint justa and saint rufina both are martyrs Justa and her sister Rufina made a meager living selling pottery in Seville in the 3rd century during the prefecture of Dionysian one day in the year 287 a crowd of pagans came by carrying on their shoulders a statue of the goddess salambo they demanded an offering for the goddess but the sisters refused proclaiming their faith in christ and deriding the statue the pagans attacked them and destroyed all the pottery but in the tumult the statue fell over and broke into pieces for this dionysian had the sisters tortured and cast into prison where they suffered further torments justa was the first to die and her body was thrown into a well then the prefect ordered rufina to be fed to a lion in the amphitheater the lion refused to harm her so instead the torturers broke her neck and burned her body the women are the patron saints of the city of seville that is in spain so they are often pictured flanking the giralda the city's iconic bell tower saint justa and rufina pray for us Brothers and sisters now let's pay attention to the gospel text of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to Matthew chapter 11 verses 25 to 27 at that time Jesus declared I thank you father Lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children yes father for such was your gracious will all things have been handed over to me by my father and no one knows the son except the father and no one knows the father except the son and any one to whom the son chooses to reveal him the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned you have revealed them to the child like think about the incredible advancements in technology that have come about in the past century 
computers that once took up entire buildings now fit on your desktop people once doomed to die from horrible diseases now go on to live for many happy and healthy years airplanes and high speed trains have made the globe much smaller and yet the same problems that have dogged us for centuries poverty war crime abuse are still around why can't all this incredible knowledge help us tackle these issues the problem is that technology cannot reveal the most important truth of all that we are children of god those whom jesus calls the wise and the learned the ones who rely only on brain power can't quite understand this they can surmise that there is a god but only god can reveal himself to us we just have to be childlike and ask him to show us what does it mean to be childlike it means acknowledging that we were created to have an ongoing relationship with god a relationship of love trust and dependence it means believing that god is committed to us as a father is to his children finally it means keeping ourselves open to the promptings that god sends to us here is one way that you can work on being more childlike in your day even as you go about your very grown up life make it a point to take some time to slow down it's easy to fill our days with activities chores and obligations and miss out on our relationship with god of course there is much that we have to do each day but it's also vital that we not become consumed by it instead spend time just enjoying god's presence sit outside and absorb the sun thanking your father for the gift of its warmth or close your eyes and imagine yourself taking a leisurely walk with jesus put aside all the grown up thoughts for just this time and simply enjoy the lord be like a child and see what your father reveals to you father thank you for calling me your child help me to know you not just as the almighty but as abba my dad amen brothers and sisters the psalmist proclaims the goodness and kindness of god part of that is seen in the revelation given to moses which led to god setting the chosen people free from their slavery in egypt let's pray that psalm now your response the lord is compassionate and gracious the lord is compassionate and gracious bless the lord o my soul and all within me his holy name bless the lord o my soul and never forget all his benefits the lord is compassionate and gracious It is the Lord who forgives all his sins who heals every one of your ills who redeems your life from the grave who crowns you with mercy and compassion The Lord is compassionate and gracious The Lord does 
just deeds, gives full justice to all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthday, especially Father Regan Paul de Souza, Carmelite, Aloma Fernandez from Ponda, Goa, Ashis Eugene from UK, Avita de Souza from Bengaluru, Dominic Matthias from Borivili, Mumbai, Aloma Fernandez from London, Jason de Souza from Vidyaranepra, Bengaluru. Joel Stian Menezes from Gurpur. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. We pray for the departed soul of Charles Diago de Souza from Kemman, Udupi and Maria Angela Fernandez from Kolwale, Goa. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.